Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're starting off this video with my eyebrows already done. I'm gonna link that video if you wanna see how I complete them in the cards above. It's a pretty simple eyebrow routine. All my products are as well drugstore that I use, so it fits right in with this video. But let's get right into what's happening. I'm taking the shade Hot Gossip and I'm basically setting my whole eyelid with it. So I have a seamless, um, kind of layer to start with the next shade which is act a fool this shade i'm literally going to take it all over my eye i'm going to put it in my crease i'm going to um start building it up in my outer corner and creating a um kind of like a v shape on my eye So while I'm blending, I'm going to talk about this palette really quick. This is the Bare Necessities palette by ColourPop. It retails for $34 for 30 shadows, which literally to me is a steal. Um, I love it because it has a mixture of glitters, metallics, and mattes. So you can basically do any look possible. You can do an everyday look. You can, you know, do a going out look. And that's why I think this is a bomb eyeshadow palette to start off your collection with. So go ahead and check it out. So now I decided to be extra and cut my crease. I'm cutting it using the e.l.f. camo concealer and I think the shade medium peach. And looking back at this, I wish I would have like skipped this step and kept the eyeshadow look matte. I feel like it was kind of giving me different vibes now that I added glitter. I, I don't know. I just, I wasn't, you know, totally impressed with it. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to basically cut my crease as I'm doing that. I'm also going to go back with the matte shade that I used earlier. And I'm basically going to put it back because when I placed the concealer on over it, you didn't see it anymore. So I'm just going to go in, pack that back up there just so you can see the differentiation of the two shades again. So I'm just going to be packing that glitter on and um, after I looked at this, I still didn't like how shiny it wasn't. So I decided to pack on some more glitter, you know, because why not? We got to be extra, extra read all about it. So I went in with that same palette that I did use in my soft glam look. I'm going to link that above in the cards as well. And I'm just going to use my finger and blend that out. So guys, I was so nervous about the foundation part of <laughs> this makeup look just because drugstore foundations are either a hit or miss for me. Whether, you know, I mean, they might look good, but in order for me to get it to that point of looking good, I have to do too much. For the most part, I usually have to buy two shades and mix it like I did for this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick, and I used two shades. I used 13 and 12, and I basically mix them together in my hand and then blend them in.
So now that our concealer is nicely blended, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Makeup Contour Sticks in the shade Where's Walnut. I didn't like how light this was, so I do go in with the cream foundation um, in the shade F14 just to darken it up a little bit, and then I go ahead and blend it out. So I'm setting, as always, with the Makeup Revolution powder in Banana Deep, and I'm gonna pack this in and blend it into my skin. I'm not gonna let it sit. And the next powder, which is going to be the um, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, this is going to be what I bake slash cook in. I'm gonna pat it underneath my eyes and I'm gonna let this sit. Now I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna set my cream with the Black Radiance True Complexion Pressed Powder in the shade Cafe. So we're gonna finish off our face. I'm gonna set everything with the No Filter um, Powder. This is basically another pressed powder, but this one is more like my foundation shade. And it's um, by Color Prep, like I said, and it's in the shade Dark. Another product I totally forgot I had, this is a loose highlighter by Wet n Wild. It was so beautiful, it's nicely, um, it's very fine. So it goes on very smooth and you know, it's not cakey at all, but it's so beautiful. I'm gonna of course use my favorite highlighter as well, the Maybelline Master Chrome, cause I can't stay away from that. But um, we're gonna top it off with that. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and set it and our look is pretty much complete. So that is it, our look is complete. I actually enjoyed myself, um, kind of challenging myself and keeping everything drugstore. So if you enjoyed it too, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.